increase confidence and self-esteem. Nadia has helped clients develop deeper and closer relationships, improve communication skills, and gain greater clarity and understanding in your life. Nadia coaches men, women, adults, or youth, and helps everyone get ready to transform their life. Call Nadia Rosh at 954-907-5176 or visit radionadia777 at gmail.com and get your free consultation. Join our radio TV show on changefortheBetter.tv and ask your questions on the air. Call 954-907-5176 today and change for the better. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Sometimes life needs adjustments to work out for us, and making these adjustments can be difficult to see. Welcome to Change for a Better Life, Love, and Health with Nadia, a weekly empowerment show hosted by world-traveled Nadia Rosh as she brings needed information to help you select the right path in life's challenges, relationships, and just taking care of your body. Nadia welcomes all questions on the show by calling 888-565-1470 and asking anything that you're having a problem with. You can see Nadia on changeforthebetter.tv as each week she will bring new solutions to your life. And to reach Nadia directly, call 954-907-5176. Now, let's get ready for change with Nadia Rosh. Hello, everybody. This is Nadia Rosh every Monday from 6 to 6.30. And I'm so happy to be with you today. And um, my guest today is Terry Croister, Crisis management specialist and my life coach and he is a life coach for everybody um today we are going to talk about fear uh we call today each other um in the morning and talk with uh terry and um this topic coming to us because this is actually a basic thing what not make people change and um, we want to talk about this and explain a little bit why this uh, creeping emotion, uh, like a fear, coming to our life. Um, Terry, you are here with me. Yes, I am. yes I'm glad. I'm glad, and I'm, I'm very happy to hear you again. And um, yes, and thank you for your time to spending with with us. Um, so let's let's talk about the continue to talk about why people um, can change, why they not feel like they want to change, um, and one is the aspect of this a fear what they have. Right. Uh, as we spoke uh, last week, we spoke about uh, the power or the necessity to control one's mind and begin to grab hold of your mental ability. Plan to improve your life in So, tell me today. Hello, Terry. We have some technical um, uh Hello? Problem, yeah, is yes. something something not going well with your voice is jumping. Uh, can uh, okay. you can you repeat can you repeat what you say? I'm sorry. I I, I said uh, last week we spoke about uh, how it is important for someone to um, mm. get control of their mental health so that they can form the framework that is necessary to take control of every area of your life. Mm -hmm. And as we were speaking earlier today, one of the uh, number one causes for uh, distorted or diseased life is fear. And uh, right off the bat, people might say, well, I'm not afraid of anything. Uh, fear doesn't exist 
uh, in my life. I'm not afraid. Yes, they, they not understand actually sometimes uh, what what is furious. They think is they scary something, and this is a fear. No, but this is can be uh, from a background or from your childhood or something what blocked you energy to go through um, with with a high frequency and make it a positive thoughts and um, not thinking about not the future, not a past. Right. Just to and leave the day today. Yes, like we spoke earlier today, uh, excuses are fear. Yes. Usually when you give an, an excuse, it's usually a fear of not knowing, a fear, a fear of not doing. Uh, so all of these things are fear-based. There's so many things in your life that are fear-based that you don't even recognize it's fear-based. You think there's something else. Mm-hmm. But most every negative attribute is born of fear in some shape, form, or fashion. So uh, to be able to really uh, negotiate your way through life, you really have to grab hold of these fears and and begin to pull up these weeds that are growing everywhere in your mind. Yes. And they're causing uh, all sorts of health issues. Um, in in like I said, in every area of your life, you, you you're going to encounter this. Uh, yeah, because this yeah. is like I said, is a block. It your energy go through flow you from from um, head to the toy, and yeah. Uh, this yeah, we have a chakras. What is block it if the energy is not the positive and anything? So and the people is actually uh, don't realize. This fear is caused caused for them in health, unhappiness, because the mostly what they do, they don't want something to happen, and uh, th- this thinking, these thoughts, is actually create same what they don't want it. That's right. That's exactly right. They, they they create the very thing that they fear the most. <laughs> yes, it is. You know, this is why so people protesting something against, and this is exactly things ha- happen in their life. Yes. Right. Uh, in relationships, people go, oh, I don't need this, and I don't need that. And that is usually based on the fear of loss, fear of being hurt, yes. fear of rejection. All these things are the reasons that make you because who would not want to have a happy relationship with another being? Anyone that says that they want to be alone yes, is inhuman. <laughs> But you the know? fear to be hurt again, not let people to create inside of them this right. wonderful and powerful uh, emotion is love. So yeah. without love, they are uh, staying in a circle when they can't go nowhere because low frequency not let them go nowhere higher than they right now. So yeah. this is why we know is the most important thing to create and change your mind. And actually, mm, like Sadhguru said, fear is simply because you are not living with life You are living in your mind. This is how you create in your mind, and uh, you think this is a life what you live. But this is not. <laughs> this is really not. When we understand the principles of the life, it's not going like that. Your mind is can be changed, and your life is can be changed. Of course, for the better. Nobody uh, wants to change for, for worse. That's right. You look at people who have like a hoarding personality. And it doesn't matter whether they're hoarding clothes, newspapers, or just bad experiences. It doesn't matter what it is you're hoarding, because you're hoarding all the time, most people are, is that you're holding on something that you think you can't do without. And you will find that once you get rid of it, you'll find that life goes on. Yes. But you allow things to hold you prisoner mm-hmm. for... Uh, years and years and years, it destroys relationships, it destroys uh, things, uh, it stops you from moving forward in business, and 
like I said, in every aspect of your life, these things are so broad and so wide uh, spread in our lives. But we don't call them fear because we feel this way about work and we feel that way about life Mm -hmm. and relationships and we feel this way about some other aspect in our life. But it's all the same. Each, Each incident is the same. Uh, you have relationships where the mother and father are no longer together. And uh, the fear of the mother, a lot of times, will cause them to treat or rear the kids in a way to make them feel that the father is not... <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is uh, yeah. The blame life. blame somebody who not around, right? Right. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, this is actually a big mistake. What a lot of women do to not uh, build a good image of the father, just uh, basic of her emotion about this man. But this is nothing clue with uh, rising children. Uh, children still have mother and father. And uh, for for the mother to create bad um, image of the uh, father is not good way to go. Right. Yes, um, you're already breaking the balance. But fear allows uh, one parent to feel, oh, the child is going to like the other one more than me, or you know, they create these these, these false things out of fear in their mind that this relationship cannot work because one has to be dominant over the other. And Mm -hmm. that's not how kids are raised, whether you're together or apart. There's no dominant. It's actually create no respect, no for father, no for mother. Right. Because of the situation is uh, hurt the children. Yeah. Right. When you take away respect for one, you take away respect for the other. And uh, these things manifest into now some type of fear or for the kid. You know, now the child feels that he lacks or that he's the reason or she's the reason that this is taken care of. And all this stemmed from the fear of one parent or the other. Uh, Relationships. Some people can't commit in relationships for fear of, of of being hurt. Abused, yeah, abused and yeah. hurt, yes, exactly. So they spread yeah. themselves around so they can blame it on that mm-hmm. as opposed to their natural fear of loss and, and their fear of hurt. Yes. So there's so many different ways that, that, that we manifest these, these fears. You know, there's so many different ways in business. It's the same way. We, 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 we try to rule over people out of fear that we're not enough as the boss or we're not enough as the employee. And we create these uh, bad personality traits. And we nurture them and then we call them ourselves. Okay, Terry, we need to take a break for the 30 seconds. I uh, have commercial and we come back. Stay with us. We will be back. Statistics state one in four people are bullied. I believe that everyone at some time in their life is bullied or intimidated by another. Why are some devastated by it and others just shrug it off? It all lies in their personal value. Bully Proofing You is all about building your personal value. It is about a decision you make and action you take. You must decide you are valuable. Stop letting others define you. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Victor E. Frank. Start choosing to believe in yourself and your value. Genie Cisco Meth can give you the tools needed to change your life, to bully-proofing yourself and your family. Her live one-day training will transform your future into the life you have always wanted. To purchase your tickets, go to www.bullyproofingyou.com forward slash products. 
and start creating your phenomenal future. For several years, Quality Tax Plus Services, Inc. has developed tax strategies for Coral Springs business owners as well as individuals and families. From bookkeeping to payroll, straightforward tax preparation, or complex audit representation, Quality Tax Services, Inc. is recognized for customer-oriented service and financial acumen that results in smart tax solutions. Call Quality Tax Plus Services at 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Part of the services Quality Tax Plus offers is life insurance, the most important insurance to have. But there are many people in Florida who do not have it. It is true thinking about the end of one's life can be uncomfortable, but when it comes down to it, life insurance is not about you, but those you leave behind. Make the right choice and find a life insurance plan that is right for you. Cover your tax and insurance needs at Quality Tax Plus Services. Call 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Visit their website, qualitytaxplusservices.com, or call 954-969-0012 and let their services help make your life worry-free. 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. You are listening to Change for a Better Life, Love, and Health with Nadia Rosh as she explains options in your life. Join the conversation by calling 888-565-1470 and talking with Nadia. If you would rather write in a question, visit her website at www changefortheBetter.tv and chat in a question. Nadia promises to respond as quickly as she can. Now, back to our show. Hello, my beloved, and thank you to waiting for us and um, whom who just come to our program to listening. Uh, this is Nadia Roche and my guest, Terry Croister, crisis management specialist and life coach. And we're talking about uh, what what stop people to change their life for the better? How uh, how they uh, can be happy if even they have wealth, even in they have health, but they still not happy because of some kind of fear blocked their relationship, blocked their uh, love, and uh, all aspect the their life is not going well. So we continue talking about. Uh, fear and why the fear is sometimes not recognized by us, but this is still uh, deep inside of us. And we actually have technique how to change your life. And this is why we explain to you so we can work with you and help you. Yes, Terry, is actually fear is not a product of life. This is a fear is a product of some... Um, hallucinatory mind, and this is can be changed, right? Sure. Yes. Caution is caution is very real. Fear is manufactured. Right. <laughs> yes. You know, uh, we have a built-in uh, sense that helps us be cautious in the right moment. Mm-hmm. But caution out of control or mind out of control is fear. And fear is, I call it an ego uh, trigger, Mm -hmm. because fear uh, will manifest itself in the ego. It will trigger your ego to go, hey, I know that, even when you don't know the answer. Right, yes. Oh, you don't need to tell me, I know. Yeah, it's a fear of rejection, fear of, (laughs) yeah, the people not recognize your... (laughs) Right. wisdom or and your knowledge so sometimes people lying uh because of fear you know and actually the lie is coming from fear you know to to fear to be coached to fear to be punished to fear to not to be recognized and um yeah. the people create some illusion and staying in delusion in their life and not right. living their real life and some people have a fear of death, and they don't live the life. They're just waiting right. on the fear of death, and, <laughs> you know, it's and like... fear of death uh, <laughs> uh, caused them not to have a life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that's one of the things is need to be changed. Um, 
I think is everybody is need to be changing me and need to be changing you. We are yes. not a perfect one who don't have a fear. This is if if I say that I lie. So yeah. we we have fear. So yeah, we, but we all do. It's a process to have to be done and you have to start working on this and um, yeah. if you need help we are here to help you. We uh, are yeah educated about this and we know it's possible to change yes so um you have to realize is that a change has to be made and yes. you and then we begin to break down what are some of the changes that has to be made in the mm -hmm. first place uh, uh fear is one there is a, a lot of other Uh, changes. And as you begin to recognize them, you, you begin to see yourself uh, for who you've created and not who you are. Yes. You know, you begin to see the me who you created this me, and now you begin to observe it from the I mm -hmm. point. You know, you know, you, you, it's that part inside of yourself that You're watching yourself think and act, and you go, is that how I am? Yes. And, and uh, it's because you're looking at the me that you've created. <laughs> you exactly. Know? So so many and times. Remember, I should be one. <laughs> yeah, remember we talk about when you uh, just start learning how to play guitar, and you have a yes. fear, and it, actually everybody around you say, No, you know what? It's it's not happen. It's not yeah, gonna yeah, happen. Right. And why you need to try this? You know. And I remember myself when I just six seven months ago start dancing, and I I found it a beautiful studio, and I start dancing the dancing Caribbean dance. And from a beginning, like you know what, that's looking so weird. <laughs> Maybe you okay. stop this, but. You have to have fear, uh, the, the, the faith in you and block it and take away the fear and go and dance. Because like it's, it's a, a, people don't dance because they fear is somebody going to laugh on them. <laughs> so the people not singing, they, they think it's, it's going to be very embarrassing to sing. But you never know. You know, you never know. We were watching uh, uh, Dancing with the Stars. People coming, they can dance, but they learn and they become a very good dancer. Same thing like a program, like a voice or something. When the people, they think they can uh, sing and they coming and like a 50% percent of them, they absolutely can't sing. But right, um, this is amazing. Be. They actually go and singing, you know. Yeah. Because you have to learn to be honest with yourself. Yeah, exactly. And, yes. And... Uh, you know, you have to learn to control and and understand how you work. That is one of the most important. I, I read a book uh, some years ago, maybe about six or seven years ago. And I was so shocked when I read the book because the book was written like in 1909, you know, okay, uh, yeah. by an author called Charles Hannell. And mm -hmm. the book was called You. You, the okay. You. <laughs> Very <And> specific. <laughs> yes. I'm reading this book, and it's, and it's breaking down how you respond to everything around you, to the universe, yes. how mm -hmm. the hairs on your arm respond to sunlight, what happens to the body as the sun goes down and goes up. What, and it made me very aware that I was... Uh, and not in a, a creepy space cadet type of way, but in a scientific and very scientific yet spiritual way that, hey, everything is predicated on the next thing. So um, I began to learn the truth about myself. Right. Why am I acting like this? Is yes. this a natural or normal action? And right. once you start to make that type of, take that type of self-inventory, yes. you'd be surprised how 
how you can progress through life because we really uh, are people that are built up on very, very weak foundations that we've created out of fear. And every time somebody exposes these fear, our ego flashes up and tries to save the day for us. Right. And we lose friends. We lose all types of relationships. We lose jobs. We, 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 we put ourselves in the rep that we are trying not to put ourselves in. But anytime you react out of a false perception, anytime you act out of non-truth, you're going to end up in a place where you really don't want to be. Truth, when they say the truth will set you free, it's so true on every plane of existence because when you're able to be truth about yourself, about I don't know this, then yes. it opens you up so that you can learn it. You can humble yourself in front of yourself right. and say, you know what, I'm, <laughs> I don't know and I have to learn about. And uh, like we talked today in uh, early morning uh, about the truth is is actually truth is uh, existed for now, you know. Right. Uh, tomorrow is can be changed. And people say, how this is can be changed? Yeah, it is. Because uh, every day we discover something new and This is why we are creating in our mind some stereotype, what is the true? And some people are very stubborn of that, but it's a way to change. So we finished for today, and thank you so much for being with us. We are happy to help you anytime. You can call um, in the studio, you can call my number, 954-954. 907-5176 visiting, visiting my website changefortheberra.tv and see me on YouTube if you miss something. Thank you so much and see you next Monday. You have been listening to Change for a Better Life with Nadia Rosh as she explores the mysteries of life, love, and health. Tune in next week for another chapter that will help you make the right choices in your everyday situation. If you wish to contact Nadia, please call her at 954-907-5176 directly or visit the website www.changefortheBetter.tv. And thank you for tuning in for Change.